Hey guys, welcome back to Just Pill and Barbecue. Today we're going to do Butcher Box Ribeyes on the Traeger Tailgater. Stay tuned. Alright, so this is the first cook that I'm going to do from the Butcher Box as far as getting it on film. I've been very impressed with the pork that we've already uh, cooked from the Butcher Box. But now we're gonna get into the beef and do some ribeyes. These ribeyes look really good. I mean, as you can see, really good marbling. I'm very impressed with the way they look so far. Uh, both of them look really nice. And so we're gonna see how they cook up. And because this is the first cook out of the butcher box, it's gonna be very simple. All I'm gonna do is just maybe a tablespoon of olive oil and just rub that around. Just as a binder. And I'm gonna do a little bit of pink Himalayan salt right over the top of both of them. Same on the other side. And then we're gonna go in with some fresh cracked black pepper. And that's gonna be it for the seasoning. I'm gonna keep these out on the countertop, let them come up to room temperature. We're gonna go fire up the Traeger and then put them on. I got a tailgater set at 225. I'm just gonna put them on there and let them get some smoke and let them go low and slow for a little while until they get about 125 degrees internal. Then I'm gonna take them off, fire this thing up to high, and then sear them off. In the pan on the grill as well, I do have some mushrooms and onions with a little compound butter and a little au jus packet in there heating up so that'll be a nice accompaniment to the steaks. So stay tuned. All right, the steaks have come up to 125 degrees internal temperature. I'm gonna take them off, put them in this pan and tin them with some foil and then crank this thing up to high. When it gets up to temp, we're gonna put them back on and sear them off. Got some really nice color on them right now. They just feel like they're gonna be super tender. Now let's crank this up to high. And get the pull on. All right guys, we're creeping up on 450 degrees and it's climbing. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the steaks on. Probably gonna put them on about four minutes, three or four minutes per side. It's about 50 degrees out here, so they've cooled down a pretty good bit. So I'm shooting for about an internal temperature of 145 to 150. sizzle on them. Get it shut, let them go four minutes. Then we'll flip them. All right, it's been four minutes. Now I'm fixing to flip them over. One thing to keep in mind with the little tailgater like this, it's small. So the longer you keep that lid open, you're letting all your heat out. So you want to try to do this as quick as you can.
we've reached the right inter internal temp. It was only four minutes and four minutes. So I'm fixing to take them off. Just a word of advice real quick, because I was over 400 degrees, you don't want to just go ahead and shut this thing off from that high of a temp. So I'm going to cut it back to about 275, let it reach that 275 mark, let it stay there for a minute, and then I'll shut it down. That way we don't have any back, back flame into the uh, hopper or anything like that. So uh, just a tip there. Let's take these in and uh, plate it up. All right, guys, we've got it plated up. We let it rest for about 10 minutes or so. And now we're going to do a taste test. Keep in mind, this is the Butcher Box ribeyes. This is the first one that I've done a video on as far as Butcher Box goes. And all we did was a little bit of olive oil, some uh, pink Himalayan salt, and some fresh cracked black pepper. That's all we did. So we're going to try to see how that beef flavor comes through. We got a nice little cucumber, pepper, and onion salad that my wife made, and we got some cut up avocados as well. So this is a nice uh, keto friendly meal. But let's taste test this steak first off. I wanna get a little bit of this cap up here at the top. Nice, pink, medium, medium well maybe. Very tender. A little bit of a, almost a ten of a smoke ring in there. Old tailgater did good. Try another piece right here in the middle. Definitely a beefier flavor than from my, what I get from the grocery store. Grass fed and grass finished. I think that's what makes a difference. Really good steak. Butcher box. I'll give it an A plus on this cook. Give it a try if you think that's something that interests you. Until next time, I'll be piddling.